pemenang utama untuk Pokari Sweat Bintang SMA 2021 adalah Budak Wangi dari Sman Satu Genteng Bayu Wangi. To the winner of Bintang SMA tonight, I'll be seeing you in LA. I'm so excited that you've arrived in LA. Ah, can't wait to meet you. See you soon. Hello, my name is Wawang, and I won the 2021 Midang SMA and a trip to meet my idol, Nikki, in Los Angeles, California. LA for me represents a manifestation that I have as a kid, being able to be in a community where everyone is well creative and, and very supportive. I learned most of my English from watching Hollywood cartoons, so it's amazing to finally experience the things that inspired them. They have like the same interests like me. I really wish to have that type of future if it's possible, yeah. I'm excited to finally get to meet Kevin, a CG journalist. Hi! Hi. Thank Hello. you for meeting me here. Thank you for having me. What do you do to get like to this point where you're like a certified CG generalist? First time I came here, I know nothing about English. I don't speak English. Mainly I speak Bahasa and probably my, my Bahasa Jawa is better. Learn the, the basic just enough so that like you can talk to people. And then after that, whatever tools you use, whatever medium you use, let's say whether you want to do 2D, 3D, or maybe like a hybrid uh, medium where you can perform or anything like that, uh, it can be implemented. I'm gonna show you what I've done to get my first job. This is not just done by myself, it's actually 11 of us like working together. Just make sure to be patient. It's not like uh, you become a Instagram artist or you become like a YouTuber in one night, right? For now, if you try to focus on animation, yeah. I can probably like uh, reach out a couple of my friends to help you to achieve their goals. But yeah, if you become generous later on, please do let me I know. I might just like call you. <laughs> <laughs> I got so much information for today, so thank you so much. You're welcome. Nikki is a very big inspiration. She's an Indonesian woman and she had succeeded abroad. Like, that's very inspiring. It's like a manifestation that I get to see her in person tomorrow. So you won Bintang SMA. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That's so awesome. Thank you. What was the process like for you? I, well, I know Bintang SMA since like their first season, but I never had the gut. The thing that I do is something that you do behind the screen. Right. Not quite performing. And I came up with, oh yeah, sure, I can try animations. I joined the competition with not much of expectation, mm -hmm. but it's amazing that Bintang SMA took me here. From a personal experience, I started to find spark on like animation itself, like during high school. Do you feel like the same with like music and your <laughs> Yeah, actually, I started really writing and producing, I would say, in high school. I was always very musical. I played music. Uh, my school was Christian, so there would be like a little chapel session yeah. every week. There wasn't really much else, so that's why right. I started a YouTube channel. That became sort of like the second outlet, and eventually my main outlet. What's your first experience in LA as an artist? The best education for just anything creative is a hands-on learning experience right. where you're yeah. doing it, you're learning as you go and yeah. as you do it. I don't think I learned more than just by doing what I love. Yeah, but yeah. moving here, it just really sort of like changed the way I view art. You know, right. there's sort of like a respect for it. As a result, right. it drove me forward and right. further into yeah. like pursuing my artistry. Yeah. It sort of like lit a fire in me, right? 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 right. And yeah. that's how you feel too? That's how I felt too. Which high school do you go to? I go to SMA Negeri Satu Gendang. It's a public school. In yeah. Banyuwangi? In Banyuwangi. I wanted to ask you, who are you targeting here with sort of like your messaging? Yeah. Why do you do your art? My goal is to represent many people, what people feel about their life and everything through my art. For all aspiring artists, it's just so important to make sure that you like it and 
the opinions of your art come from within and not from outside. Because if you're constantly seeking approval from outside mm -hmm. for people to tell you, yeah, that's great, oh, that's bad, then yeah, then you're making, you're not making art that's genuine to yourself. So yeah, just be yourself. I was so excited to meet you. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. Like, I'm so happy I got to I meet you. I brought something for you and I really oh, hope you like it. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm a sucker for gifts, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hang this in my studio. Oh my god, that would be Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I know this is not the end of the journey, it's just still the beginning. I really feel like uh, young people like me, especially high schoolers, should really experience all this, all these experiences because I know it can be tough sometimes to, um, to maybe pursue your dreams. You gotta sweat for your dreams and you gotta work hard for your dreams. You should just go for it. Like, you don't know what might await you in the future. If your dream doesn't scare you, I think it's not big enough.